There are a lot of things can depict hate, and for good reason. If you're accidentally doing one or some of those things, but hey, we're here to see. In this video, we'll go over 10 things these potato shaped furballs hate, why and how to fix it. Of course, you'll also get interesting facts and studies you've probably never heard of. Welcome or welcome back to the IC Cinnamon YouTube channel where you'll find everything Guinea related. As usual, all the links, sources, and article version with 15 instead of 10 things Guinea Pigs hate is in the description. Now let's get straight into it. Number 1. Strong Scents We know that guinea pigs have a keen sense of smell, but did you know that it's up to 25 times more sensitive than humans? So strong odors can be overwhelming for them. That's why even if you take out a carrot without making a sound, they'll smell it and wake their heads off. Studies have shown that guinea pigs react negatively to strong scents, which can cause stress. Another study found that exposure to strong chemicals or scents can lead to long-term health issues, including respiratory problems in our guinea pigs. So avoid using scented products like perfume, air refresheners with strong smells, or strong cleaning agents around their living area. Instead, stick to unscented, pet-safe cleaning products to keep their environment nice and comfortable. I use this small animal cage and surface cleaner, which is linked in the description. This is why pets don't recommend no-rinse shampoos like this with strong scents. As you can see, I have made this mistake, so trust me, don't buy this. I recommend using pet-safe shampoos with little to no scent instead. Number 2. Being petted in the wrong places Guinea pigs can be quite sensitive about where they're petted. Even though most piggies do enjoy gentle petting their heads and backs, many hate having their bellies, feet, or bum touched. I know mine will run away like they've seen a ghost if I touch their bum. But the reason is actually not far off. In the wild, only predators touch them in these areas. So this is triggering your piggy's ancestors' number one fear. Touching their bum also indicates a sign of dominance, which is especially true for male guinea pigs. Research has found that guinea pigs have sensitive skin and heightened sense of touch, making them particularly reactive to unwanted handling. So be mindful of your pet's reactions and respect their boundaries. Usually, guinea pigs like to be pet on their heads, behind their ears, under the chin, and on the back. Petting and cuddling with your potatoes is a great way to bond with them, and if your piggies don't let you pet them, don't worry. I made a video on a step-by-step -step guide to petting your guinea pig without it running away. Number 3. Loud Sounds A guinea pig's hearing is 2.5 times better than a human's in terms of upper frequency limit, so they're very sensitive. When I was researching the PTSD and guinea pigs video, I came across something called acoustic trauma. As the name suggests, the term means an injury to the inner ear often caused by exposure to a high decibel noise. I put more specific details in the article, but basically, if a guinea pig is exposed to sounds as loud as emergency vehicle sirens or a live concert for just 3 minutes, they will have acoustic trauma and permanent damage. This is the worst case scenario, but guinea pigs can get startled by common household sounds, like vacuum cleaners, loud music, or shouting, and cause them stress. And if they're very stressed, they can die. So try to keep their environment as quiet as possible and avoid sudden loud sounds. This is especially important if you're welcoming new piggies into your home. On the other paw, some guinea pigs are completely fine with sounds like a vacuum or TV. My guinea pigs are so chill that they'll munch on hay while a full-blown zombie apocalypse movie plays in the background. It's like they're saying, Zombies? Oh please, I've got hay to finish. Number 4. Having no place to hide In the wild, guinea pigs are prey animals, which means they instinctively seek out hiding spots to feel safe. A cage without hiding places can make them feel exposed and vulnerable. Studies have shown that having the option to hide seems to lower stress for guinea pigs in animal-assisted therapy. Without a hiding spot, they froze more often and didn't show behavior signaling that they are feeling comfortable there. There are many ways to give hideouts for guinea pigs. Tunnels, hutches, and even clean and safe cardboard boxes with openings cut can work too. I included a list of all the products my guinea pigs love and use, including hideouts in the description, so feel free to check it out. Number 5. Being alone Guinea pigs are social creatures and they need at least one buddy. I'm not going to dive deep into more why keeping a single guinea pig can be horrible for their physical and mental health, leading to loneliness and depression. And I know that there are exceptions and nuances. This is coming from someone whose guinea pig was single for a while. I went into detail in these two videos. Either way, social isolation has been shown to cause increased levels of stress hormones in guinea pigs. That's why if possible, adopt a pair or another guinea pig so they can keep each other company. Just make sure to slowly introduce them properly to avoid any initial conflicts. Number 6. Sudden Changes 
This may come as a surprise, but guinea pigs love routines. Research shows that sudden changes to their daily routine or to their environment, including housing, social groupings, water, food, or bedding can make them stressed. Try to maintain a consistent feeding, cleaning, and interaction schedule. If you need to make change, introduce them gradually to help your guinea pig adjust. For instance, when switching to a new type of pellets, start by mixing 80% of old pellets with 20% new ones. Gradually increase the proportion to 50-50, then 20-80, until you're eventually feeding 100% of the new pellets. This low transition can help prevent digestive upset and let your piggy adapt more comfortably. Number 7. Small or crowded spaces I'm sure that from the COVID-19 a few years ago, most of us wished our homes were bigger. Our piggies are staying in their cages for most of the time too. Guinea pigs need a lot of room to roam, play, and exercise. A cramped cage is really bad for them. It will limit their movement and can result in frustration, boredom, obesity, behavior issues, and more. Studies have shown that overcrowding can lead to increased aggression and stress in guinea pigs. It can also lead to excessive chewing, bar biting, and more. That's also why overcrowding, especially with multiple guinea pigs, can lead to territorial dispute and aggression. The cage size should depend on how many guinea pigs you have. For example, two piggies will need at least 10.5 square feet. Remember, the size listed in guides are usually the bare minimum, not the ideal size. More space is always better for a guinea pig's health and happiness. Number 8. Being exposed to hot or cold temperatures. Guinea pigs are sensitive to extreme temperatures. Studies show that guinea pigs exposed to temperatures below 15 degrees or above 24 degrees exhibit signs of stress and discomfort. If a guinea pig is too hot, they run the risk of getting heat stroke. If they get too cold, your potatoes can have hypothermia. And trust me, no one wants either of them. To prevent getting too hot or cold, make sure you keep their living area at a comfortable, stable temperature. Also, avoid placing their cage in direct sunlight or drafty areas. I'll link the videos about these topics down below. Now let's move on. Number 9. Dirty Water This might seem obvious, but many guinea pig owners forget to deep clean their piggies' water bottles regularly. By deep cleaning, I don't mean just rinsing the bottle. We know that guinea pigs need constant access to fresh, clean water. At the same time, they can be messy drinkers and often leave particles in their water. If you don't clean their water containers regularly, bacteria can grow, making their water unsafe. That's why changing their water frequently is just as important as cleaning the bottles and bowls every day. Also, choosing a well-designed leak-free water bottle can make drinking easier for a guinea pig and for you to clean. Number 10. Traveling Circling back to the next point of them not liking sudden changes, guinea pigs, like all small mammals, are not natural travelers. This is especially true for transportation systems such as cars and airplanes. The unfamiliar noise, bumps, smells, turbulence, and environment in general can be very stressful. That's why it's not recommended to travel with your guinea pig unless you really have to. If you need to travel with your potato, try to make the trip as smooth and quick as possible. Use a comfortable carrier that's big enough and bring along familiar items like their favorite blanket or toy with their scent on it. Make sure to properly plan ahead, bring food, and keep them comfortable. So these are the 10 things guinea pigs hate. Did you accidentally do some of these things back then? If so, now you know and you can fix it. What else do your potatoes hate? Let me know in the comments. I hope you found some value in this video and please consider liking it and subscribe for more guinea pig content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!